Today on the Toppy Show, Disney CEO hosts an emergency meeting. She-Hulk writer looks even more foolish than usual. California kneecaps Uber. U.S. government says they will stop robot spam calls. Land Rover Jaguar Group to make batteries in England. Netflix adds even more users, even with their password sharing crackdown. Carvana stock skyrockets. Activision gives Microsoft a little bit more time for the merger. And McDonald's has to pay someone $800,000 for hot chicken nuggets. All of that and much more on The Topping Show. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in. Today's episode of Topping Show is sponsored by Topping Technologies. Topping Technologies is an IT value-added resource services company with a special proficiency in IT security. Heck, see their founder release twice a day. God say he's quite handsome and brilliant. He's me, that, that's a joke. If you're an IT leader or business owner and need a little assistance, you can reach the team at sales at toppingtechnologies.com. Now, going on to the business part of the podcast, you have Jaguar Range Rover Group to open up a battery plant in England. Now, granted, pretty much like every EV technology or initiative, this is only conceivably possible because of government subsidiary, uh, subsidies. It sounds familiar since Ford just got, I believe, a, a nine or ten billion dollar, even more than that, maybe trillion, loan from the U.S. government so that they can have three new manufacturer plants in the United States for EV batteries as well. So, it's by no means exclusive to just Jaguar Range Rover Group, which is owned now by Tata over in India, Tata Corporation, they're a big multinational company, but those companies are still independently, they're headquartered in England, so people still think they're British engineering. A debate to have another time, perhaps. Now, their goal is actually to have the plant to the point where it could potentially produce about half of EV batteries needed in Britain by 2030. Granted, where does lithium come from? Yeah, not Britain, so, It'll be made, it'll be assembled there, not made there. A uh, little delineation. In the United States, it has to be at least 70 to 75% of the materials or components of a product have to be U.S. made, as well as assembled in the U.S. to actually have something called made in the USA. Which is why you see all BS advertising when you go to like a home improvement store, such as Home Depot, or you'll see a tool say, made in the USA with global components which in my opinion is a BS delineation because it's confusing to the end consumer because it says made in the USA, but no, 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 it should say assembled in the USA with global components. But I digress, that's another classification for another time. But it'll be interesting to see as those luxury brands start to try to transition to EVs, does anyone really want a Land Rover without the V8? Eh, time shall tell, but they're gonna roll the dice and perhaps there are some people who do want that because Land Rovers are very reliable pieces of machinery. They never have any issues now. So introducing more mechanisms and more technologies into it will surely make them even uh, more um, mechanically uh, sound. That's a joke because most of the time they're not in your driveway. They're usually in a mechanic's garage gathering dust and being repaired for a myriad of reasons. They are usually at the bottom of reliability, but they look cool. So, you know, people like to spend a quarter million dollars on them to each their own. And they also only have two pedals, so to me that's like three, three strikes. I wouldn't buy one, but that's just, that's just me. Hey. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in. I really appreciate it. We're trying to get to 3,000 subscribers by the end of July, so I especially appreciate you taking time to click that button and subscribe. If you already have, I also really appreciate when you take the time to share the video and comment. It seems like those things especially help the channel get more views and more comments. They'll help us grow together. Also, don't forget to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone, just stay safe and fight the good fight.